The Immortal John Hancock here. Today I have a special announcement that my PlayStation Greatest Hits collection is finally complete. A few years back I did a series talking about the Greatest Hits games, which at the time I thought was complete. I was wrong. I now have those games in my collection thanks to two people. The seller Mr. Jordan and longtime fan Justin LeClaire helped me acquire these games for my collection. I'm super excited about showcasing the entire faced out PlayStation 1 collection. Enjoy the video. So here it is, my complete US PlayStation collection. I use a list from GameRave.com, it was very helpful. I have a few additional variations and I didn't include the Best Buy Greatest Hits demo disc because that's a demo. This is a game collection, and so that's why I'm not including that. The link will be below if people want to check out the list. There are, I've counted, 172 games in this game collection. And so, right off the get-go, I'm just putting them in alphabetical order. I'm not going to list all the games, but as you can see, it's faced out. Do not underestimate the sports titles. The sports titles for many of these are hard to find and there's many reasons why they're hard to find. Usually get a generic image online on eBay. People want to sell you the black border original release and the, the truth is that some of these are actually harder to get than the original release. Many of these games are getting harder to find. No, not a ton are super expensive. There are a few. I have two copies of Castlevania. The reason why is that they have different numbers below the ESRB rating. So one was a sealed copy I got from Costco and the other version is just a, a, a different version. And I don't, I don't know why there's a difference. There's not a lot of information about it online. So I do collect variations when I come across them. In this list of games, there are many classics that made PlayStation popular. A lot of Crash, um, a lot of platform games, Resident Evil titles. There are a decent amount of sports games, but I, it took me several years to track all these down. The Digimon games, uh, especially Digimon World 3 and Rumble Arena, pretty tough to get. Dino Crisis was another one that was hard to track down. And there it is, Toy Story 2. Toy Story 2, one of the two hardest games to get for this set. I'm gonna show you the disc and everything a little bit later in the video. That's a really tough one. I wanna thank Justin LeClaire uh, for donating that to my collection and Mr. Jordan for selling it, who is a longtime follower himself. So thank you to both of them for working something out. I've, I've wanted these in my collection a long time. Toy Story 2 is actually a good game made by Traveler's Tales. So as we move along, uh, you're going to see several of these that don't pop up often. And so there's Driver 1 and 2, but then there's a Driver Twin Pack. And uh, the, the discs for the Driver Twin Pack are different. And so it's not just a repackaging. It's actually the discs are actually different cosmetically as well. Then you have all the Final Fantasy games. The Final Fantasy games are just, there's a, there's a metric ton of them. And you know, there was tons and tons of re-releases. So there's lots of small variations with some of those games. And so I like collecting variations. This is kind of why I pursued this originally. I just kind of ballooned into that. I didn't know how big the greatest hit set was when I first started collecting it. it just blew my mind. So Gran Turismo series great games there first game that i uh cut work <laughs> to go play <laughs> so i really want this to be a visual guide to help people with their list to prove hey this does exist i have a copy of this 
Mad 98, another one that's pretty tough to find now. Again, it goes back to those generic listings on eBay and on Amazon. And so that makes some of getting these greatest hits titles tough because a lot of sellers, a lot of people want the original print, but you know, the greatest hits print, it, these are pretty tough to get some of these. Mortal Kombat 4 and Mortal Kombat Trilogy were uncommon. Took a little bit to track those down. Namco Museum Volume 1 and Volume 3. Those are very common and probably the most common greatest hits titles that I could think of. Top of my head. And there it is. NFL Blitz 2000. Right there. Looked for that game for hmm, over two years. Probably closer to two and a half. Really, really excited by having it. It also has an NFL logo on the front there. And so it makes it tougher to replace the case to have original complete one. And so it's an, it's an excellent shape too. Really, really, really excited about having that in my collection. I look for that forever and it's in just great shape. And so the, the quest is over. And so, you know, onward to PS2 greatest hits collecting. Now you're gonna see a lot of sports titles in this cat in this row here. And some of them very difficult to find. You know, the, the greatest hits lineup started in 97. I do believe that uh, the requirements with the games had to be out a year and had to sell 150,000 copies. And it jumped up to 250,000 copies. Nuclear Strike there is a is a misprint. And so the insert there is, blank, is white. And that's just how it was packaged. Lots of RPGs, platforms, sports, a good mix of games. So if you're looking for like the best of play for PlayStation, this is a good place to start. Now it's not gonna be for everybody. It's not gonna be all these games aren't ones that you're gonna go back and play, but there are many, many excellent titles that represent the PlayStation library. Road Rash, not Road Rash 3D, original Road Rash there was great. Then you got stuff like Rugrats and Scooby-Doo, Cyber Cyber Chase, you know, you're not you're not gonna you know you're not gonna play those <laughs> silent hill though sim city 2000 actually i'm a big fan of sled storm too it's a, a decent a decent snowmobile racing game soviet strike another great title and you got spider-man i mean spider-man and batman are two comic book heroes that never die and they always are around and comic books cartoons and video games spyro trilogy there was four Star Wars games released for Sony PlayStation that were greatest hits. Jedi Power Battles being the best. Dark Forces was disappointing. The Phantom Menace was terrible. Absolutely hated the Phantom Menace game. And Rebel Assault 2. Street Fighter Alpha 3, another difficult one to find. Took me a while to track that down. I tried to get these in person at conventions if I could. And last resort, I went on eBay. Siphon Filter 1, 2, 3. There seemed to be a lot of games because the PlayStation was so popular that were in increments of 3. Tekken, Tekken 3, Tenchu 1 and 2. Lots of test drive games. And what you're noticing here is a, a variation with the Tetris Plus. The first edition, I do believe, was Gold Foil. And it was re-released without the Gold Foil. I'm sure it was due to cost cutting that they reduced that. Uh, Tomb Raider games. Now there's a label variation there. One's included a demo. And so it uh, didn't have a little marking on the front cover there. So that's why both of those are included. This is again, just some label variations that I came across. And I'll keep that. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 through 4. Played a lot of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Both of them, I mean, just the, the series used to be great. Triple Up Play 98 and 2001. Again, those are too hard to find now these days. You know, 20 plus year old sports title variations. Twist of Metal, the second one is, in my opinion, the best. The first one was pretty good. Three and four weren't too good. Vagrant Story, another uncommon one to find. Vigilante 8, Second Offense, another hard one to find in the series. Some of these are pretty tough to locate. You're wrestling. Original Wipeout, wrapping this up with some wrestling games. 
Some people really love those. And then on Xeno Gears. Here it is. These are the two rarest of my PlayStation Greatest Hits collection. First and foremost, Toy Story 2. Toy Story 2 is really hard to get and this is what it looks like up front and that's what the disc looks like this is in really good shape I want to thank Mr. Jordan for offering to sell these and I want to thank Justin LeClaire for picking these up for me I really appreciate the support <clears throat> I want to thank both of them for the support of my channel. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be showing these games. And the other big one. This is a game that I've been looking for for a long time. This is NFL Blitz 2000. Inside it has a black disc in pristine shape. With games like this, I want to protect them. And so I use retroprotection.com and they sell bags and harder cases if you need these for your PlayStation Jewel cases. Now, I've been using them a long time. They're great. They keep your cases nice from scratches. When you put cases next to other cases, they will eventually scratch. These keep your game cases nice and fresh and clean and it's a great way to especially collectibles such as these you know these aren't your normal greatest hits games these are but a few that are going to set you back and so people ask well what's the value of these well i, I don't know what i'd put on value wise other than the fact that there seems to be more and more people collecting these i personally you know it's, it's hard to spend a lot on greatest hits games, but I just want to say that these are pretty rare. There's there's copies out there, but these are a lot, there are a lot fewer copies of these games than other greatest hits games. So I wish you luck. So some people ask me why, why PlayStation greatest hits? Why does it matter? I've always loved to pursue these subset collections of budget releases going back to the days of Atari with the gray box collections. And I really enjoy these, these budget subsets. Some of them are very challenging to complete. And, and this is proof that sometimes the budget release is actually the more difficult one to acquire. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like collecting greatest hits subsets. That's fine. This is not here I'm not here to say one's better than the other. It's one thing that that I enjoy about collections is these subsets that are identified with, you know, a green spine or a red spine or a yellow spine. And, you know, PlayStation's no different. So comment below. Do you collect these PlayStation Greatest Hits games or do you avoid them because of how they look? I'd love to hear back from you. And I want to thank everybody for the ongoing support marching towards 90,000 subs. I had a lot of fun with this one. Super excited to finally have it checked off the list. On to collecting PlayStation 2 greatest hits. That's right. As of today, I'm announcing that I'm going to go for that subset because it's fun. Why not? Thank you so much. Your folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the Immortal John Hancock. You take care.